Howdy doody, shooby doodlers. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a sheriff badge, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it. To draw a sheriff's badge, let's start by drawing a circle. That's about right. <laughs> and then let's have one line going up. So this is going to be the, sort of the top point of our star. So let's draw a V coming down like that. And then we want another horizontal going on about like that. That will go to about there and that will go to about there. Now I think in fact we probably want to come more that way. So you have to kind of play with this a little bit. And that's going to come to there. So that wants to be on the same line like that. Good. So this will give us one, two, three, four, five points. Now we want to go to the points in between on the circle like that so that we can then join up here so we get a kind of a fatter star. And we're after that five point, sort of a chunky five point star. That wants to be more up to about there, probably. You're going to have to play with this. <laughs> and that all looks about right. And then we're going to want to have little circles on the top, like that. And we're going to have kind of lines coming inside, like that. So that's coming here. This looks very, very messy. I'll try and do a tidier version of this as a help sheet on my Patreon page. Click up here for the link. So we're going to draw a circle in there as well. And we're going to draw an inner circle too. Across here we need to fit the words sheriff, so that's not going to be easy. And it's usually done in this very sort of condensed typeface so we need to get S H E and then R I F F yeah that's probably gonna fit and then we want a little line across there and a line across there so let's get our pen and ink this in so I'm gonna start off drawing in these circles and then I think I'm gonna draw these big circles take your time and of course you can always use um, a compass to get this more exact and I made it very wobbly around there because I can't really see what I'm doing because <laughs> of the camera <laughs> and but I don't think it matters it just makes it look a bit more hand-drawn really and you don't want to get too worried about perfection unless you're one of those people who's a little bit obsessed with perfection but if you just want to draw something and cut it out and make a sheriff badge <laughs> then this will do you fine okay now we're going to come up here and down there so these are kind of internal lines so this is all in the kind of engraving or the stamping of the metal and then we're going to get really really bored because we've got to go and do lots and lots of little dots so these would be uh, engraved onto the metal or stamped this is probably stamped uh, they don't want to spend too much money engraving costs money stamping is quick and cheap you can stamp out hundreds of them depending on how many sheriffs you want. If you've only got one sheriff, then you probably have it engraved. But if you've got lots of sheriffs, and you're making lots of them for lots of different counties and jurisdictions, then you want to stamp them out. That's a lot cheaper and quicker. And I'm going to do a little bit of shading in here. I'm just going to do these little kind of curves just on this side of the one, two, three, like one, two, three, there we are, that's all you need. And now here, I'm gonna start with the top serif of this S. I'm gonna come around up and down with that serif. Over the shoulder there, I'm gonna come down to create that S. 
And then with the H, we need to put this little serif in, and you just want that tiny gap in between, like that. Serifs, that's those little feet up at the top and the bottom are called serifs. So here we're going to do that with a line down and across, line down here. So now we've got these little ears and feet, and they're serifs as well. Uh, so we want to have the R, the main up and down bit will go like that. Nice kind of semicircle like that, and then we want to have that sort of curling up like that. And a nice eye. And then we want to squeeze two Fs in here. So we've got the serif with the ear on the top and the middle section. And that's the, the main upright little ear. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm going to do just a tiny kind of a curve there, tiny curve there as well. When you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, you can rub out that great mess of construction lines. <laughs> and if you want to know how to draw a star perfectly, click up here. I've done a video all about that. Now here, I'm going to draw these, these little, uh, we're going to do a hill and a mountain and a hill hill and a mountain and a hill and I'm going to do something like that inside it as well so there's a line with a couple of dots line and dots and then we can add a little bit more shading just by putting these tiny little kind of dot hatching kind of things there and then it'll be a bit more up there as well coming around to the top like that and then just fading away there then all you need to do is give it that bronze look and a little bit of shininess with some white and those little white dots in the in the balls on the end of the stars and then you can maybe add a little bit of shadow and there you go how to draw a sheriff badge well, thank you for watching and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.